All right, so what I want to do right now is take a look at buttons in InDesign CS6. And what we're going to find when we work with buttons is most times we'll be using buttons when we're creating interactive files, interactive documents. Now, what's really great is InDesign actually has these pre-built graphic buttons that you can work with. Now, of course, you can go and create those buttons in Photoshop and Illustrator and place them into your file. But if you want to create very quick arrows to go from page to page, let me show you a quick way to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our buttons and forms window, which if you needed to find it, you could come to window, interactive buttons and forms. Once we have this window open, what we're going to do next is we're going to come and we're going to click right here and we're going to click sample buttons and forms. And here we have our sample buttons and forms and we're going to start with the buttons. So what we're going to do is we're going to come on down and we're going to work with, I'm going to work with uh, 151 and 152 right in here. Now, what I want to do is I want to apply these on my master page. So I'm going to double click my master page. I know that I'm on my master page because I come down and in the bottom left corner, it lets me know that that's where I am. So I'm going to come on in over in here and I'm going to grab this. I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to line it up right here and I'm going to grab this one also pull it down, drop it in right in here. And you can really place them wherever you'd like to, if you want to, you know, pull this one out over here and line it up over there. You can do that. And you can also drag this one and line this one up over in here. Now what you're going to find is as I go to my other pages and I have them page two, page three, page four, everything is right in there. And I'm going to actually see that one move that over just a tiny little bit now if I wanted to line everything up you can see that I have pulled out this guide and again I could do that in my master page I could come on into my master page oops I have two masters I could come into this master page and I could pull out a guide to line that up and then when I come on in over and here I can take my box and line it up perfectly I can do the same in here and everything is just lining up. And again, pulling out the guides from the rulers on the master page is always a good idea. And then everything, you can use them as guides, as they're called guides. Okay, so what I want to do now is if I click on to this little arrow right in here, and deselect that, click on here. All right. Oh, I need to go into the master, sorry. So I come into the master. You can see when it's not in the master, it doesn't do anything and I look at my uh, buttons window and I can see that what it's the the command is already built in so it says the buttons already created um, so you don't need to create the button you could if it was an object you could convert it to a button so you could say object convert to button right here um, but what we can see that the commands already put in so it's saying on click on release or tap go to next page and that's what it looks like when it's there. This is what it will look like on the rollover. It has a little drop shadow. And again, this is already all pre-built. I'm sure you probably already know what this one says. This one says, go to previous page. So there we have it. Let's preview it and let's see what it looks like. So I come to file. I come to, in order to view this, I need to export it. So file, export. And I'm going to export it as an SWF. It would also work as an interactive PDF. I'm going to replace it. I'm going to say OK. And OK, that's because I have it in CMY. I should have put it in RGB because it's going to flash professional. Uh, it's something that's viewed on um, the web. All right, so here we go. Page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4. I'm going to go backwards. 3, 2, 1. There we have it, working with the buttons that are pre-built in InDesign. Thanks for listening.